it's a pleasure to have spent so much time with you. Uh, congrats to all of you for staying upright in this heat. Um, I have to tell you, it's a little strange for me to be in this room without Trudy, because Trudy was such a leader for so long on this file. I first participated in 2007 when I first ran, uh, and she was always a leader. So I just wanted to acknowledge her work. It's, it was good for us to go through all of the circles because we heard very strongly <clears throat> the principles and the values of this community and beginning with housing. Without housing, uh, it's really hard to uh, you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. We always hear this from the conservatives. Housing is the great economic stabilizer in our society and without housing, you miss out on job opportunities, children lose out on educational opportunities and so that is why in our platform, we will be making a historic investment in housing, including supportive housing and not-for-profit and co-op. The first funding for cooperative housing in 20 years. Healthcare is a major uh, anchor in our platform. Uh, the funding has not kept pace with the rate of inflation or demographics. Certainly, uh, we believe strongly in public health care, and we have seen the privatization of our health care system happen in this province to the detriment of the quality of care of our citizens. We are moving back to basics on health care as a core universal access and principle. Long-term care is a huge issue. A really great question came from the floor. Where are the savings? Well, right now there are seniors in hospital beds at $1,500 a day because the government did not invest in long-term care. 3,000 people in this region are on a wait list. That is completely unacceptable. There are good jobs to be created by building that long-term care and by investing in the care and caring better for people as well. But I think mental health was the most powerful because regardless of your socioeconomic standard, everyone has had an experience with mental health. We are going to act on the mental health recommendations of 2010 that went to the Liberals that they never acted on, which includes a Ministry of Health. So not dollars spread against 11 different ministries. We are going to focus on mental health so it doesn't have to compete with the mental health file. I want to tell you, I am in a direct fight with populism and Doug Ford. In this riding and in this province, let's not let ignorance win in this election. Let's be hopeful, let's be ambitious, and let's win Waterloo and the province of Ontario. Thank you.